welcome back divas this is tx beauty queen coming at you today with a springtime turquoise sunset makeup tutorial so today i decided i wanted to use um the color that of my shirt if you can see my straps right here um and my waterline coupled with a warm brown like not really smoky but a warm brown eye and of course a beautiful pinkish purple lip so today I did something a little bit different. Um, I use the Lena Lashes Bottom Mink Lashes in Mignon and I hope that you can see them closely. I will insert some pictures for you. Um, I also paired that with my favorite lashes by Lena Lashes and that is in Na Naomi. And this is what Naomi looks like. I absolutely love the Naomi lash. I have a few pair now. So if you're interested in these lashes, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description bar for you to check her out. Um, she has a sale going on right now, but I don't know if they'll, how long the sale is going to last. Um, but they are 50% off right now and they typically retail for $32. So you'll get 50% off of that if you catch her sale in time. I also wanted to tell you guys, I had a little bit of a technical difficulty in my video today. Um, my microphone isn't working on the first half of the video, so you'll see my lips moving, but I'll be doing a uh, voiceover to accommodate for that. So if it's kind of weird, I'm sorry, um, but I really wanted to come and show you guys this look today. I didn't want to have to redo it all, so I just gonna do, I'm just going to do. i just going to do a voiceover for the part that my uh, microphone didn't pick up on. I hope that you guys can just follow me through it and... If you're interested in how I got this look, stay tuned. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by applying Urban Decay Primer Potion to the lid. This is going to help my eyeshadow be vibrant and last all day. Next, we'll apply brown script i'm sorry we'll apply saddle by mac as my transition color to both eyes and i'm using a mac 217 brush next color we're going to apply heavily in the crease is mac brown script and i'm also using the same um mac 217 brush Then I'll take Nectar out of the Lorac Pro 2 palette and apply that directly to my lid, focusing the color on the center of my lid. Then I'll take my 217 brush and blend it out a little bit more. Then go with MAC Hard Candy Pressed Pigment. And I'm going to use that same eyeshadow brush that I use for Nectar and pack that on top of my lid just to add a little sparkle. Then we'll pick up Red Brick by MAC. It's a very pigmented color, so I wanted to be very careful with that using a 217 brush to go ahead and apply that high in the crease. Then we'll take MAC Yellow Eyeshadow in a 224 brush and pop that in right on top of MAC Red Brick, causing a little bit of a sunset effect and really warming that eye up. And it really turned out well. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Nothing too dramatic. It was just perfect to me. You guys let me know what you think. Then I'm going to pick up my Lorac Pro 2 palette again and take Snow eyeshadow and highlight my tear duct area with a small smudge brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and go right into the lash line with Sephora Turquoise Eyeliner. And it's supposed to be a 24 hour waterproof um, eyeshadow stick. And I'm going to pop Gonzo out of the 
Urban Decay Electric Palette right on top of that. Just so it'll intensify the color a little bit and also let the color last all day. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put on my Ben I Banana Powder. I had already applied my concealer off camera. So uh, you all, you guys already know how I do that. And if you don't, go ahead and watch one of my previous videos for more details on that. I'm going to go ahead and contour my face lightly with MAC Blunt Blush. Focusing on the nose with a crease brush. And it's just like a cheap random crease brush. Then I'm going to snatch up my cheekbones as well as my jawbone area with MAC Blunt Blush. Also using a Makeup Academy angled blush brush nothing too major so the next thing you'll see is me applying my lena lashes mink lashes on my bottom lash line and these lashes are in the color uh, i'm sorry in the name mignon and i hope that i did this correctly because i had never tried to apply bottom lashes before so you know cut your girl some slack so I applied these lashes. I really uh, must say I really do like the way it looks. So now I'm kind of addicted to wearing bottom lashes. And after this bottom lashes uh, clip, I'm going to apply my Lena lashes and Naomi to the top. And we're going to cut to live. And this is going to be, and this is going to be, uh, I'm just going to buff it with a little bit of my Inglot powder in number 64 and my L flat top brush. Before I put my lips on, I'm going to prime my lips with lip insurance, Too Faced Lip Insurance. And while that is drying down, I am just going to take my MAC Global Glow highlighter and a flat brush and apply that. take my Inglot one uh, I'm sorry 15 BJF S brush and oh, and my MAC copper tone blush now that my lips are dry I'm gonna take some of my magenta lip pencil by MAC and line my lips take my MAC up the amp lipstick and it's like a lilac purple color and I'm going to put that in the middle of my lips then I'm going to take a little bit of snot by MAC and adopt that and dot that like right at the in the bottom spray my face with fix plus know that's what I gotta do so I think this completes the look ladies I really hope that you enjoyed this um, sunset eye with a turquoise pop of color with a vibrant lip along with some dramatic lashes the look is kind of dramatic yet subtle in a weird kind of way so you guys let me know what you think and don't forget to thumbs up leave comments and also subscribe to my channel until the next time divas bye